It has become prevalent of many of the cultist thinking of those who consistently profess many in whom they fail to agree with as possessing negative energy. This manner of thinking is equivalent to the Christian who asserts that someone is an abomination and is worthy of hell and therefore, death. I found after long and careful observation of many this day and time who hold this energy-based theology to be very harsh and cruel to many that do not set well with them because of reasons I were to understand are less than superficial. But, that has forever been the case for self-centered people who are borderline narcissists. It is very important to understand of where you are finding this energy that you assert is dwelling of someone else. There is a strong possibility that it is inside of no one but yourself. The majority of the times, those who are claimed to carry energy that is deemed as negative, are very reserved in their character while those who accuse them of possessing this presence of negative energy are consumed with a hatred that even the Christian has not demonstrated. I find it abnormal for anyone to live their lives claiming to only hold and choose to be around those who are perceived by their standards to hold this positive energy to be filled with so much hostility towards anyone else because of being understood as negative. You need to check if how this state of mind is causing you to act towards humanity people, as you will not see it as humane, or maybe you just would. We should be clear that positive and negative are simply point of views, the same as good or evil. Also, if many of you were so inclined to what is so abundant, then when you encounter someone in whom you deemed negative, shouldn't you feel responsible in teaching them of how to be more positive instead of sending them to hell as the Christian does? If you are not inclined to do this for them, then what good is your so-called positive energy? I see no distinction of your hatred for a struggling humanity than that hatred of the Christian. As anyone interested in inner evolution, it would be wise to only focus upon yourself and of how you treat others in the environment instead of continuing to be a part of a demonic and destructive social constitution that is destroying us all in regards to social harmony. There are plenty of you who are agents of this government system and don't even realize it due to having a religious-based mentality which only causes further divisiveness. If anyone who is accused of possessing what is asserted as negative energy is able to cause in the dual component whom is claimed to possess positive energy a lack of humility and productivity, then it perceptively implies that those who claim that this mythology of positive energy is in fact penetrable of their opposing nemesis that is condemned negative. It has become obvious that many who claim this dogmatic-based theology of thinking is vulnerable in every aspect of the being if any time the accused opposing factor is blamed in causing a hindrance or limitation in their progression. Considering what is propagandized as positive, nothing should be enabled to impose a challenge upon the host, unless they themselves have not dealt with internal areas of the self which is fragile of the effects of the environment of those who are perceived in their point of view as negative. There are those who say, my life is much better and have fallen right into place now that I have gotten all of that negative energy out of my environment. This is utilized by many often abruptly for the sake of offending judging someone which to most who are decent would consider a negative attack from one who is claimed positive and therefore decent. However, if you are indeed a positive force and manifestation, should it really matter of who occupy your environment? So, self-sufficiency is not a factor in being positive? Are you implying that you need a negative presence to produce the positive incentive for you to be responsible to produce? It has become time to look only at yourself to ensure where this negative energy in fact exists and of who is in truth hindering your progress. If your state of mind can be compromised or even hobbled by way of what is considered its opposing factor, I offer you to take a closer look inside and find out who is in truth possessing a negative force in your life in regards to your peace of mind and progress. It is a very good chance that the only person who has this negative force living in them is yourself. How you respond to the challenges in life reveals what is happening inside of you and no one else. Positive, negative, reality. Choose. Written by David Anthony Brayboy.